Is gravity quantum? It's one of the oldest unanswered questions in modern physics. For decades, scientists have successfully explained three of the four fundamental forces, electromagnetism and the strong and weak nuclear forces, using quantum mechanics. But gravity has always resisted. We still describe it with Einstein's general relativity, a classical theory. What if we finally had a way to test gravity's quantum nature in the lab? That's exactly what a new breakthrough from MIT promises. Researchers have developed a powerful new technique, laser cooling a centimeter scale torsional oscillator that might let us experimentally probe whether gravity plays by quantum rules. In this video, we'll explore how this experiment works, why it's so revolutionary, and what it could reveal about the very fabric of our universe. At the heart of this breakthrough lies a mechanical device that twists, a torsional oscillator. Picture a horizontal bar suspended from a wire that can rotate slightly back and forth. Small angular shifts in such a system can be incredibly sensitive to external forces, including gravity. Until now, these devices were part of classical gravitational experiments. What makes the MIT experiment revolutionary is the scale and precision at which they've operated this system. Led by PhD candidate Dong Chel Shin, the MIT team applied laser cooling, a technique traditionally reserved for atoms, to this relatively large macroscopic device. This isn't your typical cryogenic setup. Instead, they used a mirrored optical lever to precisely detect and control the oscillator's motion. Here's how it worked a laser beam was directed at a tiny mirror fixed to the oscillator. As the oscillator twisted even slightly, the reflected laser beam moved across a detector. Because even a small angular movement shifts the beam noticeably, this approach offers extreme sensitivity. But such precision comes with challenges. Laser beams are not perfectly stable. Air currents, mechanical vibrations, and imperfections in the optics all introduce jitter false signals that can make it seem like the oscillator is moving when it isn't. To overcome this, the team used an ingenious solution, a second, mirrored version of the laser beam that reflected off a corner cube mirror. This beam picked up the same jitter, but crucially, not the motion of the oscillator. When the two beams were recombined, the noise was canceled out, leaving only the real signal. This brought the noise down by a factor of a thousand reaching levels sensitive enough to detect motion 10 times smaller than the oscillator's quantum zero-point fluctuations. Using this setup, the team cooled the torsional oscillator down to 10 millikelvins, just one one-hundredth of a degree above absolute zero. This is a region where thermal vibrations are virtually eliminated, and quantum mechanical effects begin to dominate. Getting a macroscopic object this cold and this isolated is a huge technical and conceptual achievement. It prepares the ground for observing behaviors that we usually only associate with the quantum world. This innovation turns a centuries-old mechanical tool into a potential quantum probe capable of measuring gravity at its most fundamental level. And the most exciting part? This is just the beginning. What makes this platform so exciting isn't just the cooling. It's the convergence of two historically distinct fields. For decades, gravitational physics and quantum optics developed on separate tracks. One worked with large, slow-moving systems like torsional pendulums. The other operated in the microscopic world of atoms and photons. The MIT experiment bridges these worlds. For the first time, techniques developed to manipulate quantum systems are being applied to mechanical systems large enough to be affected by gravity. This hybrid approach could finally allow us to test how gravity behaves when it interacts with quantum systems, something theorists have been dreaming of for decades. The difficulty in merging general relativity with quantum mechanics lies in how differently they treat the universe. Quantum theory is built on uncertainty and superposition, where particles can exist in multiple states at once. General relativity is smooth and deterministic. It describes the curvature of space-time with mathematical precision, 
but no built-in randomness. Physicists have long speculated that a full understanding of nature must combine both. But how? Many theories exist. Some propose that gravity must be quantized, potentially involving a theoretical particle called the graviton. Others argue gravity could be emergent, or even fundamentally classical. But without experimental tools to distinguish between these ideas, progress has stalled. That's where MIT's hybrid system changes the game. By creating a platform where a massive object behaves in a quantum way, it becomes possible to directly test how gravity acts between quantum systems. This is not theory anymore. It's lab science. The key here is scale. At the atomic level, gravitational interactions are incredibly weak, essentially drowned out by other forces. But torsional oscillators, being larger, feel gravity more strongly. At the same time, laser cooling and noise isolation ensure that other forces are minimized. That delicate balance is what makes this experiment so powerful. It could eventually lead to setups where two quantum coherent oscillators interact only via gravity. If entanglement or quantum correlations emerge, it would suggest that gravity itself must be a quantum field, a result that would reshape modern physics. The next chapter in this story involves pushing the system even closer to its quantum ground state. Reaching this point means that the oscillator is in its lowest possible energy state, where its motion is governed purely by quantum fluctuations rather than thermal noise. To achieve this, the team plans to strengthen the interaction between light and the mechanical oscillator. One strategy involves placing the oscillator inside an optical cavity a setup where light bounces between mirrors and amplifies the angular shifts caused by the oscillator. This would allow for even more precise control and cooling, possibly bringing the system fully into the quantum regime. Once the oscillator reaches the quantum ground state, a whole new class of experiments becomes possible. The most exciting of these is placing two such systems near one another, with every non-gravitational interaction shielded or minimized. If they become entangled, that is, if changes in one affect the other in a way that can only be explained by quantum theory, it would be the first direct evidence that gravity itself is quantum. This would be a monumental result. Not only would it support the idea of the graviton, the hypothetical quantum particle of gravity, but it would also rule out alternative models that treat gravity as fundamentally classical. Some semi-classical models argue that quantum particles collapse wave functions via gravity, but don't require gravity to be a quantum force. Detecting entanglement would immediately falsify those ideas. Importantly, this experiment is not just about deep theoretical physics. The tools being developed, ultra-sensitive torsional oscillators, advanced laser control, noise-canceling optics, have practical applications too. These include next-generation gravitational wave detectors, quantum-enhanced sensors, and even improvements in optical clocks and navigation systems. Shin and his colleagues emphasized that building this system required more than just physics knowledge. It's a feat of mechanical engineering, optics, precision electronics, and control theory. It shows that solving big scientific mysteries often demands interdisciplinary expertise. As the MIT team refines their methods and builds toward quantum gravity experiments, they're charting a course that could reshape our fundamental understanding of the universe. For the first time, testing the quantum nature of gravity isn't just theory. It's something you can build, cool, and measure in a lab. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our channel for more quantum breakthroughs.